Hey guys, Gundam Ross back once again and welcome to episode 6 of the Nerdy Pickups. Today I've got a nice little selection of things to show you. I've got a couple of games and a couple of figurines to show you as well. So do stay tuned for those. I um, just want to say a big thank you to my recent subscribers. I'm punching around 435 subs. It's only the other day I was on 400. So thank you all for, for, you know, for coming on board and, and watching the channel and for all my subscribers that have been on board with me since day one. All right, let's get into it, guys. Let's check out the PS3 games I picked up this week. So the first game I picked up was Earth Defense Force 2025. Now, this is a game that I've been wanting for quite some time. Basically, you're in a world, uh, a city, if you will, that's been taken over by um, insects. Um, and that's, you know, it starts off, you know, pretty gradual, like with, you know, things like ants, and it works up to things like spiders. And I've even seen on the back cover here, there's a massive dragon looking thing in there. I haven't got up to that yet, so I'm looking forward to that. But I've been really itching to get into this series. It's um, one that's a bit under the radar. I think it is quite big in Japan, if I remember rightly. Um, Graphically, the game isn't really that crash shot. <laughs> it borderlines just above probably PS2 graphics when you play it, but graphics put aside, it's such a fun game. There's so many weapons to you know to choose from once you get a bit further in the game. I'm really looking forward to popping this back in again a little bit further. Uh, I've managed to get through the first three stages, and so far I've been really enjoying it. So yeah, if you can find this for cheap, definitely pick it up. Now the next game on PS3 I want to show you is a game I've been wanting for such a long time and I've seen lots of people posting pictures on Instagram about it and doing videos on it and talking about it and I've just wanted it for such a long time but I haven't been able to get my hands on it for a decent price. Well on the weekend um, my girlfriend and I went for a bit of a, an adventure and we managed to track it down for quite a reasonable price and that was Nino Kuni for the PS3. Um, and those who have played this game know this is just a gorgeous game that everyone needs to have in their collection if they're an RPG fan. Um, basically, you play, start off the game with a young boy called Oliver, and he needs to go into a parallel world to save his mother. And I won't go into too much detail, because for those who haven't played it, I hate people that spoil games. But, um, yeah, you just know you have to get this game. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous graphics. It's just like, you know, watching an anime, actually being inside an, an, an anime, if you will. And yeah, it's just absolutely breathtaking. The monsters are so cute. I always laugh at the names of the different monsters in the games. Um, there was one, I think it was like the Teeny Bopper or something like that. Um, and <laughs> it just made me laugh. But yeah, this is a must have for anyone who has a PS3, you need this in your life, guys. Now, for those who've been watching my channel, you know that I'm a big fan of Steelbooks and I'm trying to get the PS3 Steelbook collections. So, I had to pick this one up. This is Batman Arkham City. So this has got the beautiful slip case. It is an absolute mint condition. Um, you've got the beautiful, you know, on the front there you've got Batman, um, and on the back there you've got Two-Face. Really, really cool. And then inside, all nice and complete there. I'll throw up a closer picture for you guys to look at. Um, it's just amazing, um, this game. I really, really enjoyed playing it, but to get the actual upgraded steelbook, um, um, it was really good to, to find. And I've also got, you can compare, I've got the original version here and the steelbook version now. So I'm really happy to have that in my collection. Now the last three things I've got to show you are figurine related. So I picked up these two Amiibos when I was out today. And Target Australia had a lot of, of the Amiibos going for $4, which is very, very cheap over here in Australia. Um, basically, these go for anywhere between, well, when they're on sale, they're be like about $10 now. Um, they can go anywhere up to like, you know, $15. So I picked this one up for four. I was really, really happy, and that's Bowser Jr. And I'll throw up a bigger picture for you guys to have a look at. Um, yeah, he's just really, really cute. I'm really happy to have this in my Amiibo collection. I also picked up Palutena. Um, really, really happy to have her. She's so cute. I just, um, as you can see with the close up here, I just absolutely love the attention to detail. She's really pretty. Um, I love that green hair. And I'm really happy to have this for $4. I could not say no to picking this up. And lastly, uh, I've got another Pokemon related item. This is one that my girlfriend picked up and that is the Mega Gengar. And as you can see, it is really, really cute. Um, we're, not, we're not too sure whether we're gonna take it out of the box or not. I think we probably will keep it in the box. Um, I don't really like taking figurines out of the box, to be honest. 
um, unless I find a double. But yeah, really, really happy to add this to our expanding Pokemon collection, which, you know, hopefully in the next few weeks I actually might show you how our Pokemon collection is going because it's getting quite big. All right, there we have it, guys. Yet another Nerdy Pickups episode. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Let me know what you've been playing. Give me a big thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, fools. See you later.